Can you read to me the nameplate? Judge Ebony K. Williams. So the only thing that matters in this particular courtroom is how I see it. I am from North Carolina by way of Louisiana with some West Coast cool and a New York edge. Do we have a problem, ma'am? No, I don't, Your Honor. Equal justice is all about the most important values of our country, freedom, integrity, and those are the things that I'm striving for. Ma'am, you run your household. This man gets to run his. I decided to become an attorney and pursue the law. I wanted to be a voice for the voiceless. This court can not hold this woman accountable. People from all sectors of life, black, white, purple, gay, straight, queer, and that's what Equal Justice with Judge Ebony K. Williams is all about. Ava Gomez claims a family friend asked her to watch her two kids while she was on vacation, but wasn't paid as agreed. Lisa Ma says Ms. Gomez went on a spending spree with her credit card, so she owes her nothing. I see Ms. Ava Gomez here as my plaintiff, Lisa Ma, as the defendant. Ms. Gomez, you are suing for $500, uh, alleging that the defendant owes you money for unpaid child care. Tell us why we're in court today. Your Honor, I'm here today because I am suing Lisa for not paying me for babysitting her children. Mm -hmm. Lisa, honor, Lisa offered to um, pay me $500 to babysit her children, and I typically watch her children for free. And that's only for a day or two. Right. And this time, it's for a week. While she's on vacation in Maui with a man that she's only been dating for a few months. Okay, that's not your business, Ms. Gomez. <laughs> it's so uh, she, she's on vacation for a week. While normally you do this for free because it's a day or two, obviously she's going to pay you because yes. it's a week-long supervision of her children. Exactly. And how many children and what are their ages? She has two children. Uh, they are eight and nine years old. Okay. And... You say, great, $500 was a good fee? Yes. Okay. Uh, so I said yes to that. Mm -hmm. Per usual, she offered me her credit card, and she never gave me any limit to it. Mm -hmm. So her children were on spring break, and I wanted them to have fun. Mm -hmm. So I took them out to the movies, uh, restaurants, and then a water park. Um, they had a great time. Yarna, can I clarify something? I'm going to Please. give you this opportunity one time, Ms. Ma. What do you need to clarify? Thank you. Mm -hmm. When I pass um, Ava my card, because I trust her mm -hmm. without giving her any restrictions, mm -hmm. previously she also had my credit card and she never spent more than $30 a day. And this time she charged it $620 over seven days. And when I passed her the card, I did tell her that you can spend it on whatever my kids need. You said kids need? Yes. And okay. before I go on to my trip, mm -hmm. I stock up my two large refrigerators. I went to three grocery stores, mm -hmm. bought all the frozen you no know, food, mm -hmm. fruits and veggie, plus some quick and easy meal for Ava because I know she loves to cook pasta. Mm. So I really make sure I have everything ready. I even check with her. She said, yeah, that's good enough. Mm -hmm. So this time I was really confused and frustrated that she's charged my card $620 without even asking for permission. Previously, mm -hmm. she's always so polite. Even last time she charged it like $30 for Chinese takeout. Right. She sent me a text and kindly asked me, oh, can I spend on this? I was like, go ahead. Yeah, but you didn't get any text while you were in Maui with your new man. Um, the only text I got mm -hmm. was a picture of her, you know, took my two daughters out for Having movie. Having fun, right, but movie. you didn't Having get any fun. financial updates. No. So you I, were quite surprised when you got your credit card bill. I was very shocked mm -hmm. and confused in the beginning. Yeah. And when I confronted her, she was like, oh, I didn't want to bother you when you're on your vacation. Your Honor, may I interrupt? No, I don't want any more interruptions from either of you. What I would like uh, is for both of you to give my bailiff any evidence. Y'all are talking about receipts and credit card bills. Please offer your evidence to my bailiff. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Playing on the top. Thank you, sir. Okay, so let's see. Ms. Gomez, you are providing a text message. Hey, could you watch the kids when they're on break? I'll give you $500 this time for helping me out, acknowledging that this is the first time you've actually paid her cash to watch the children. You say, sounds great, I'm in. Okay, so that's undisputed. Let's see what Ms. Ma is offering up. Yes, this is what I expected, a credit card bill. Um, this is exorbitant. Um, I can tell the court right now, seafood, $56, movie theater, $50. Water Park, $50. The Steak Place, $50. You said these kids are eight and what? 
eight nine, nine years old, and they don't eat steak. No, Your well, Honor, apparently they do, Miss Ma. Okay, so you said, you, <laughs> breaking news. Yeah, they, 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 they can tear up a, a ribeye. Okay, so you said nine and how old? Eight and nine. Eight and so. nine, okay. Uh, House of Wax, um, look, I guess some type of Chinese. Uh, a more movie. How many movies did y'all see? It looks like y'all went to the movies every day. Y'all went to the movies four times? We did, yes. And I have and Netflix at home. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Miss Ma. Okay, um, Joe's Cantina, Bill's Burger. Ma'am, so you were really spending on average $100 a day. Yes, I was. But Your Honor, again, she was on vacation. Um, she, I did update her with pictures of where we were at. Three so they times. had the time of their lives. But your they point were. is, it was on your expense that you did not authorize. Is that your issue? Correct. She didn't ask for her permission. I never asked her to do that. And my two girls are very low maintenance. One no, ma'am, not anymore. Yeah. No, ma'am, not anymore. Coming up on Equal Justice. It, it's just, it, it is a lot of money, Ms. Gomez, and you can beat around the bush and, and say that you had full authorization, but the court is not convinced because that is a, an exorbitant amount of money for two children. And later. What do you say, young man, to her accusation that you and your frat buddies are constantly throwing loud, obscene parties and disturbing the peace? I don't see anything wrong with a little bit of party. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6870. This is Equal Justice. Equal Justice is back with the case of Ava Gomez, who brought Lisa Ma to court for cheating her out of babysitting fees. Do you think this was exorbitant spending? I, I didn't think so. So reconcile for me why every occasion you watched this woman's children before this week, it was $30 here, $30 there, with permission that you uh, received on the front end, and then we went from no authorization, no permission, to $620. Well, she gave me her credit card. She didn't give me a specific amount of how much I could spend. No, but you're 20 years old, right? I am, yes. And you're a nursing student. Yes. So that means I'm to assume that you have reasonable skills of deduction and understanding. Yes. Okay, so you understand there is something between $30 and $620. Yes, Your Honor. You see there's a gap there in terms of expectation financially? Yes. So if you're used to my babysitter spends about $30 here or there to $620, you understand why this woman is surprised. Mm -hmm. it, it's just, it, it is a lot of money, Ms. Gomez, and you can beat around the bush and, and say that you had full authorization, but the court is not convinced because that is a, an exorbitant amount of money for two children. And, and I really do need you to, to contend with that. Uh, Ms. Ma, but what about the argument that if you cared so much what was being spent, why didn't you leave a limit? Because I really trust her based on her previous behavior. And I've known her for so many years. I watched her growing up. So this she, was shocking to you. When, you? when you got this bill, you... Very shocking, and I honestly feel it's like a violation of trust. Did you call her upset or text her? How did you communicate she your was upsetness? There. Yes, great question. She was there. I confronted her. Okay, thanks for taking care of my daughter. I'm not going to pay you additional $500. So you I told her that even, to her face? I told her to the face. And what did you think about that? I was upset because I'm spending my week watching her children, mm -hmm. and I'm in nursing school, and the amount of studying I have to do, I had to put aside to watch her children. What did you think would be reasonable? When you did pull up your credit card statement for the month, you did know that there would be some charges associated with the week that she cared for your two girls, right? Mm -hmm. What did you expect that number to be? Below $300. She used to spend less than $30 a day. I understand it's spring break, mm -hmm. they may want to go for a movie. Mm -hmm. But my daughters never asked to go for a water park or right. a steakhouse. All these are new for them. That's why they're so excited. And I agree with you. I'm concerned. I'm a mother of two. It's hard to raise two daughters by myself. Oh, you're I by didn't want a single mom. Yes, I'm single mom. Yeah. I don't want to spoil them in this way. Right. No, no, I agree. Um, I've heard enough, ladies. I am ready to rule. So I've already told you, Ms. Gomez, that, listen, I, I think you're a fine uh, young lady. I appreciate that you are getting your education, particularly in nursing. It's an excellent field. You should be well paid when you get out of it. Thank Speaking you. of payment, um, you're not going to get $500 from this court today, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, while I can appreciate that you were not given a specific 
articulated limit on Miss Ma's credit card to spend for this week of caring for her children, there is such thing as pattern, usage, and behavior. Okay, and you had already established a spending pattern with this woman. This this is supposed to be a loving, trusting, reciprocal relationship, and you violated that love and trust, Miss Gomez, by running this woman's credit card bill up six hundred some dollars. You have a, a reasonable duty of cautious care and exercise with her credit card as you would be using it with your own money. And I'm not really convinced that you would spend $620 for one week on two children. And if you were to do that, the court would find that foolish. I'm just gonna be direct with you. Now, that said, there was some things you could have done to tighten in the, the spending ropes there, Miss Ma. You could have said, here's a card, she is 20. She's 20. She's still very, very much coming of her development when it comes to finances, spending, and adult decision making. Okay? So next time, uh, despite the practices and patterns established, you might want to go ahead and be overly cautious, Miss Ma, and say, and this is the limit. And, and if you don't feel comfortable sharing it to her, call your credit card company. Tell mm -hmm. them. Once this gets over $600 for the next, uh, you know, or $300 rather over the next week, flag on the play, freeze the card, fraud alert, anything that we can do in this technological age that we live in that can make sure that our spending and money is safe. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, I am going to take your good faith word, Miss Ma, that you expected to spend around $300, no more. I'm going to deduct that from the $500 that you originally owed the plaintiff just for her babysitting services, and I'm going to rule in favor of the plaintiff for the amount of $200. That is my ruling. All rise. Judge Ebony has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $200. Maybe you should keep your word next time and prioritize your children over a man. I really hope that one day you realize maintaining a trust is more worthy than the money. Coming up on Equal Justice. So he didn't offer to help repair the damage or anything? He did not. Is that true, Mr. Michaels? That is true. It's true that I told her to move her car and she just didn't take the opportunity to do it. This is Equal Justice. Lori Smith claims her car was damaged after her neighbor took his rowdy parties too far. Austin Michaels says he spoke to all of his neighbors in advance so they could move their cars, but the plaintiff ignored him. Miss Smith, I see you're suing for $1,500. Tell us why we're in court today. So, um, Your Honor, we are in court today because I am suing my completely disrespectful uh, neighbor, hmm. Austin, because he has these unruly parties with his little frat boys, and they had this big destructive party out in their front yard, hmm. throwing these balloons filled with foam, which destroyed one side of my car. Um, okay, and do you have any proof to the court, ma'am, as to the damages you're asking for? I absolutely do. Please proffer that up to you my bailiff, ma'am. You can give folder. him everything. Sure. Great, thank you. Let's take a look at this alleged damage here. Thank you, sir. Oh, my, 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 my. Okay, let's see what we're all looking at here um, on the plasma. This is your SUV motor vehicle, ma'am, and I see exactly what you mean. Yes. Um, this is uh, a, a real eyesore here with this frosty kind of white residue. It, it was uh, uh, some type of foam that got smashed, and yeah. I actually believe that it was deliberate. So, um, I see where you did take it to uh, a professional uh, body shop mm -hmm. here and you did pay for $900 for the paint itself and then the labor was another $600, totaling $1,500. Yes. Okay, let's get to you, Mr. Michaels. What do you say, young man, to her accusation that you and your frat buddies are constantly throwing loud, obscene parties and disturbing the peace? I don't see anything wrong with a little bit of party once in a while, you know? Coming up on Equal Justice. What'd you say about that, Mr. Michaels? Uh, I think since she's really the only neighbor that didn't move her car, there's probably something wrong with her. This is Equal Justice.
Equal Justice is back with the case of Lori Smith, who blames her neighbor, Austin Michaels, for her car's ruined paint job. So let's get to uh, this particular party, uh -huh. uh, Mr. Michaels. So you let her know, hey, I'm going to have some buddies over and we're going to have a party. And did she know there were going to be these balloons with foam or all this stuff in it? So I walked around my neighborhood the day before the party mm -hmm. with a flyer. I actually have it right here. Oh, great. Go ahead and proffer that to my bailiff, sir. Let me take a look. Okay, thank you. Oh, Lord. Okay, hey, neighbors, just wanted to inform you that we will be throwing a birthday party uh, on January 21st. It will involve throwing balloons filled with foam around the front yard around 2 p.m. Yep. We suggest that you move your car before that time. Thanks, and enjoy the freshly, freshly baked cookies from the store. Okay, so, th so this was available to all the neighbors. Yeah, I brought it to every single neighbor, and I talked to them firsthand, and every other neighbor moved their car except for... But you did speak to her? I did speak to her, yes. Okay, ma'am, yeah, did he? He asked, he gave me that flyer, mm -hmm. yes. And did you tell him at that point, uh, I don't think so? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I told him, I'm not moving my car, why should I be inconvenienced mm -hmm. for you to have a party? Keep mm -hmm. it in your yard. Yeah. What'd you say about that, Mr. Michaels? Uh, I think since she's really the only neighbor that didn't move her car, there's probably something wrong with her. Mr. Michaels, you do admit, though, that this destruction to her car is a result of you and your homeboys throwing these water balloons? Yes, but I, if I would have seen it on the car, mm -hmm. then I would have washed it off. Did you tell him at some point that your car was ruined? So I did, but mm -hmm. he was very callous about it. Ooh. Like, well, I told you, you should have moved your car. So he didn't offer to help repair the damage or anything? He did not. Is that true, Mr. Michaels? That is true. It's true that I told her to move her car, and she just didn't take the opportunity to do it. Okay, so she didn't do that. So you think she deserved what she got, Mr. Michaels? It's, it's kind of her fault, I think. Judge Ebony's verdict when equal justice returns. This is Equal Justice. I understand, Mr. Michaels, that you are at the stage of life where it's all about fun and good times. Uh, but the other part of it is this. When you grow up and you pay these things called mortgages and car payments, insurance, bills, taxes, uh, you do have a right to what we call quiet enjoyment of your property. And while everybody else has accommodated you, Mr. Michaels, she has no legal duty to do that. So while I can appreciate this little notice in the cookies, uh, you had it right when you said, suggest. You said, I suggest you move your car because you are in no legal position, young man, to have legal authority to mandate or demand anything from this woman or anybody else in your neighborhood. Therefore, you were out of order. Uh, she had no responsibility or duty to you to move said car just because you asked with cookies. Uh, therefore, the court will rule in complete favor of the plaintiff to the tune of $1,500. That's my ruling. Judge Ebony has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $1,500. Now maybe you'll grow up a little. I hope you learn to have fun one day, Lori. I have plenty of fun. You've had your day in court. Please grab your belongings and follow me. We'll do ladies first. Thank you. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.